Hello, everyone. Oh, flip. Welcome to the another AI dungeon video where we read a last story from the top. Hope you gonna guys are gonna enjoy. Two on dudes named Funny Fella and I'm Wallace are going on a quest to find the fabled man, Ben Ten, who defeated the dragons on the planet Zanzablorb to prepare themselves for the quest. They visit a local tavern where they meet a dwarf with a big beard named Cog the Destroyer. Funny Fella. Funny Fella says, Hey bro. Hey bro, says Funny Fella as he stands up from the table. What's the plan, chaps? asks I'm Wallace. I don't really know. Let's go find Ben 10. I'm Wallace says, sure thing. Lead on, bro. Says Cog is where I'm just going to do a Duke Nukem voice for Cog. Two hours later, they arrive at a cave in the hills. I don't know about this, says I'm Wallace. We have no choice, says Funny Fella. So, oh yeah, in case you guys didn't know, I'm Wallace is my buddy Klaus, who's actually on a call with me right now. How's it going, uh, Klaus? What? Okay. Hi. Yeah. And I'm Funny Fella and Cog is just some guy. <laughs> so they go inside. They walk up a set of stairs and they walk away in, out in the middle of the cave. Funny Fella says, What is this place? In the middle of the cave, there's a large pool of water, and at the end of the pool, there's a creature that resembles a large purple skinned tentacle limbed octopus. Uh. Funny fella says, Damn, that's one weird creature. Hey, creature, what are you doing? The creature looks up from them at the purple, uh, uh, liquid substance and is, it is engrossed in and glares at them. Funny fella says, Oh, we're fucked. Let's run. I'm the wall says, Hold up, mate. Ha ha ha, laughs the creature. Fuck you, says funny fella. No, fuck you, replies the creature in an oddly high pitched voice. Let me redo that. No, fuck you. The creature starts to stalk towards them. I'm Wallace draws the sword and stands in front of his friend. You best not holler at me, you little pipsqueak. I'm Wallace proceeds to open fire on the creature, killing it instantly. The creature was a nanobot. There were tiny robots the size of a virus that could think for themselves and move on their own. I'm Wallace to fail. What's that? What's a nanobot doing in a cave? Asks Sam Wallace. I have no idea, replies Funny Fella. Well, we'd best be off, says Cog the Destroyer. Funny Fella heads towards the airport. Cog the Destroyer walks his two friends to the mouth of the cave. Thanks for the help, m thanks for the help, mate, says Cog. Then he throws his sword into the ocean. Why do you do that, Cog? You never know, says Cog. Then he blows his whistle and two large birds come to him. Go, go, he says. Let's get on these birds so they can fly us to the airport. They get on the birds and they fly to the nearby airport. It takes them 20 minutes to get there. They walk to the, into the airport and get to the ticket counter. Funny fella says, Hello, I would like to push three tickets to plan to, to, to Zanzablorb. The un... No, not on. The uniformed attendant looks at them and says, You want to go to Zanzablorb? It's very dangerous over there. It's full of dragons and other dangerous creatures. Do we look like we care? Says I'm Wallace. Well, you can look a little more like you care, she says. Let's buy the tickets, then we'll see about looking more like we care, says I'm Wallace. I'm Wallace says, I thought so. So the attendant fills out the three plane tickets and smiles at them. That'll be $350, she says. Here's the $350, please. What? We don't have that kind of money. Don't have what kind of money, cries the attendant. You have a dragon shard, you little imp. No, we don't! Shouts, I'm Wallace. Funny fella, let's just get to the plane. The attendant gives him $200. We don't need that. We have dragon shard. Let us on the plane, please, says I'm Wallace. The attendant sighs and says so they get on the plane. The attendant smiles at them and says, Bye. Then they leave. As the attendant, as the plane takes off, the attendant says, Welcome to Fecal Airlines. You have a choice in flying and you chose the wrong one. Enjoy the flight. I'm all says, oh, for the love of John F. Kennedy. They get to their seats and slump down in them, totally exhausted. They sleep for 18 hours straight, and they wake up tired and smelling terrible. I'm all sits on the, in the seat in front of him with his head against the window. He closes his eyes and tries to sleep, but he can't sleep, and he can't relax. When all of a sudden, a man wearing all orange appears, uh, wielding a machete, jumps out and decapitates the flight attendant. Then, he and the other passengers start to cut their throats. I'm Wallace opens his eyes and looks out the window. He sees a whole bunch of people running away in panic. Great, more stuff going along. 
We are now approaching Zanzibar, the pilot says. The man wearing orange approaches the two hunters. My name is Joe Blow. It is a pleasure to... I just kicked a plate. I'm sorry. My name is Joe Blow. It is a pleasure to meet you. Same here, replies I'm lost. I hope you you have a good reason for being in the dragon's den. I do indeed, says Joe. A very good reason. Funny fella says, what are you talking about? I'm confused. I'm talking about catching a very rare panion dragon, says Joe. The what? asks Funny Fella. A dragon so rare it could be worth more than a trillion dollars. Why is everything in dollars? Because that's what this valley is worth. No, it isn't, says I'm lost. It's a freaking dragon. Yeah, since when was a valley involved? Joe Blow is unfazed by the youth of the two hunters. Don't look at me like that. You're an insane person. You killed the flight attendant. I didn't kill her. She decided to join me. That's really fucking weird and kind of cool. It's like a cool little plot thing. Whatever, says fella. Let's just get this over with, shall we? Well, how would we do that, Mr. Bonaparte? Call me Joe, says Joe, and I'm not that old. Let's just go to Zanzibar and see if the dragon is there. That's insane, shoots fella. And then this is where it ends. Funny fella pulls out a Glock 17 and shoots Joe Blow. Yeah, we're gonna have to continue this on a later date. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great day.